Good morning, students. Today is day three of simple interest. Yes, I saw your work there yesterday's work, and it was. I think you have understood. You are understanding this, and there was no such main uh, common error that I could find. So today another type of sum that we are going to do deal with, and then after that you will do the whole exercise. You are you will be left with only two three sums more, and do the chapter test also afterwards as a test because. In the end, we'll be taking a test also. Okay, so the question is: This is question number six of your exercise, which says, "In what time or how long will a certain sum of money triple itself at thirteen whole one by three percent per annum?" Now, let us try to understand what is given. In what time? That means, what are they asking you? They are asking you. You have to calculate the time, which is a question mark. A certain sum of money. Now you don't even know the principal, and it is principal is becoming triple itself. Triple itself means amount is three times the principal. It can be double itself, or it can be two by five of itself. The questions can vary like this. Okay, I'm taking one example and telling you. You have certain more questions. May have another question. More type of questions in your check your progress in all. Try to understand. It will always not be triple. It may be double. It may be three by five of itself, so you need to understand that. <coughs> so certain sum of money. Now here we don't even know the principal, so we can take the principal as let principal be rupees hundred. Okay, and the money is becoming three times. You are depositing hundred rupees, and you are getting back how much? Three times the money, triple, triple. So triple means amount that you are getting is rupees hundred. Three times of hundred is yes, hundred into three. That is yes, three hundred rupees. This is what you are getting, and this is what you deposited. Since the principal is not given a certain sum of money, so we can take it as hundred, and the amount is three hundred. Now, what is the interest in this case? How much interest you have got? Yes, interest is, or you can say SI is amount. This much you are getting. And this much was your original money that you deposited, so this money becomes this. That means the interest is amount minus principal, or three hundred minus hundred, which becomes rupees two hundred. I hope it is okay. And the rate, what is the rate of interest? Rate is thirteen one by three. Con just convert it into improper fraction. Yes, thirteen whole one by three becomes. Thirteen threes are thirty-nine plus one forty upon forty by three percent per annum. Per annum, yes, per year, and time will come in years only. Okay. So how to do? Now we know the principle. We have taken the principle as hundred. Simple interest as two hundred. We have rate is this. Can't we find time? Yes. What is the formula for time? Time is equal to Hundred multiplied by simple interest upon rate P into R, principal into rate. Okay. Now let us substitute. Please first you. This is the question you have in your book, so you can write down from here. I'm not rubbing this side. Yes, you can write down from here. Just do this question in your fair notebook, and then similar questions are there in your check your progress and all. You need to do that. Do those questions, okay? Okay. Now time is hundred multiplied by what is the simple interest? Two hundred upon what is the principal? What is the principal? Principal we have taken as hundred, and what is the time? Rate sorry. Rate is forty divided by three. So how will where will you write forty and where will you write three? Forty. This whole divided by forty by three means yes, multiplied by three comes at the top in the numerator and forty goes down. Okay. Now let us cancel hundred hundred. See cancels. It becomes very easy with hundred. If you can take even x and do it, x and three x. But let us avoid hundred as possible. Yeah. Yes. Four fives are twenty. Five threes are that is fifteen years. In fifteen years, that money becomes triple of this. Now, similar kind of questions. It can be double. It can be when it is double, the amount becomes 
100 का it becomes 200. It, if it is 2 fifth of something, then take principal as 100. 2 fifth of 100 you can take, that becomes the amount. And then you can find the interest and the similar questions, you can do them this way. Okay? Now the next type of question that I am taking is, I hope it is clear, please note it down. By the time you note down, yes. Time you have to calculate, principal be 100, amount is 3 times 100, 300, interest is amount minus principal, I hope you understand why amount minus principal, that it becomes 200 and rate is 40 by 3%. So we write root the formula of 100 into SI upon P into R and just substitute and you get the time. Okay, now the next type of question is, just copy this question as an example, you can copy and then we'll do this and similarly next two questions you'll complete the exercise today for your homework. Ex complete this exercise and the questions uh, related to them and for your check your progress for testing yourself. Okay, another question is, note this question, what sum of money amounts to rupees what sum of money um, what sorry what sum of money sorry children invested at invested at 7.5% per annum will yield will yield the same interest as same interest in 4 years as rupees 5000 note down this question years in 5 years at 9% per annum. Now, the main thing is we need to understand the question. Now, we know everything. We know the formula. The concept is clear. Now, let us see how much we can apply. Okay. What sum of money? Okay. That means sum of money invested at. That means what is this? What we have to find? The principal. Here we have to find the principal. Let it be x. What sum of money invested at, what is the rate? 7 point, this money is invested at 7.5% per annum. Will yield the same interest in 4 years. So time here is 4 years. Hope you are understanding. For so there are two parts here. What sum of money invested at 7.5% per annum will yield the same interest in 4 years, time is 4 years, as rupees, I know the other part. Yes, in this case the principal is rupees as rupees 5000 in 5 years, time is 5 years for this and rate is 9% per annum for this. Okay? Whatever the interest, see, try to understand the English here, English, that is the main problem with you people. What sum of money invested at it now, how much money which is invested at 7.5% for 4 years will yield the same interest as this. So what remains same for both? It is the simple interest. Here it is same, they may say it is twice, they may say it is half, then you will frame the equation accordingly. The interest for this is same as the interest for this. So what is the SI for this? SI for this will be X into 7.5 into 4 upon 100. PRT upon 100 is equal to PRT upon 100. Okay. Find X. That's it. Yes, you can find X into 7.5 into 4 upon 100 is equal to 5000 into 5 into 9 upon 100. Okay? What sum of money invested at this? So there, now there are two parts of the question. From all you can, from here you can find the interest 
whatever the interest is, the same as the interest for this and you can find the principal. First you do the second part of the equation. You find, you may do it simultaneously. You may do it like you do first find the simple interest for this part. Then the simple interest for this is same as that. Yes, so you can put simple interest as this. Rate is this, time is 4 years and you can find the principal accordingly. Or you may do it like this. Okay. If a principal is if the interest is twice as in this. So whatever interest you are getting, take that, multiply by 2 and that will be the interest for this. And then you can find the principal. You know the SR, you know the rate, you know the time. Both ways you can do. Now how to solve this? X will be equal to this first. Let us simplify this. This cancels. How much are we getting? 50 into 5 into 9 and this 100 goes at the top here and these two come in the new denominator 7.5 into 4. You solve this and you get the principal. I hope you can solve it further. There is no need for me to do it. Now next two questions are based on this. Complete the whole exercise. 1 to 5 was given yesterday. 6 I did it on the board. You can do it again. Yes, 7th and 8th. Please complete this exercise in your fair notebook and send the work by 3 p.m. today. So what is your homework for today? Question number 6 to question number 8. And plus for your practice, you can do MCQs and C. From the MCQ and CYP, you can do sums related to simple interest. Okay, so your homework is... Complete the exercise I am just writing. Complete exercise based on this exercise in fair notebook. And send your work by 3 p.m. today. And mail. Don't send it on WhatsApp. Mail your work by 3 p.m. By 3 p.m. today. Okay.